How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel, and today we are opening up a relic of old. The Matrix Conversion Coupe from the Kenner Superman Man of Steel collection. This bad boy was marked down from $29.99 to $9.99 at KB Toys. It came with exclusive Clark Kent action figure, and as you can see, it was a sports car that converted to a space jet. Superman figure sold separately. Here's a look at the top of the box with an image of the exclusive Clark Kent figure, and a picture of the car transformed and yet Here's the bottom of the box, exact same imagery. Here's the left hand side, and here's the right. And finally, here's the back. Take the controls with Clark Kent. Change car into space jet as Clark Kent becomes Superman. Blast villains with disc launcher. Store discs on wheels. And also there's a little write-up for the Matrix conversion coupe. There's no escaping the keen eye of reporter Clark Kent and his alter ego, Superman. Clark Kent patrols the streets of Metropolis in his Matrix conversion coupe. At the first sign of trouble, Clark activates the conversion capsule, instantly becoming Superman and converting the vehicle into a hyperdrive space jet. All right, so now let's open this bad boy up. The tape on this has been cut, as you can see here, so it has been opened before. Oh, and look, I forgot to point this out last time. We really do care. If you have any questions, please call 1-800-327-8264. Hey, let's call this. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm going to call this number. 1-800-327-8264. I'm going to put it on speakerphone, too. Thank you for calling Hasbro's Consumer <gasps> Care Department. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this number still works. Hey. No worries. It's like victorious hero hold music. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe this number still works. It is the same one. From 1996. Holy bajumpins. <laughs> oh no, kryptonite tentacles. You're no much for my steel hammer, conduit. Thank you for calling Hasbro Consumer Care. My name is Marina. How may I help you? Hi, Marina. My name is Brad. Um, Yeah, I'm actually uh, opening up a 1996 Superman Man of Steel Matrix conversion coupe. And there was a phone number on here, and I just thought I would call it just to see if it still works. I can't believe that this number still works from 1996. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, that I, I get. I, I don't know. There's no complaints. There's nothing to report. I just I was just amazed that the number still worked. And you know what? The wait time actually wasn't that long either. So kudos to you guys for having such good customer service. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey. So uh, there was no issue, or you're all set with the product? Yeah. No, absolutely not. It's uh, it's a vintage product, and it was still mint in box, and the number just happened to be on the flap on the front there, and I just I just couldn't believe the number still worked. <laughs> So yeah, no, you oh, guys okay. are you guys are hey, all finding good. Kind of cool. Yeah, no, I hope that the rest of your day is super fantastic. Thank you, you too. Okay, bye now. Bye bye. Wow, that's incredible! I can't believe that the number still worked. That's really cool. She was really nice too. All right, let's move these guys out of the way and continue on with the opening. That was fantastic. Slide it out of the box. Pull it, pull it, pull it. And here we have it, right here still. You can see that this has never actually been uh, opened. We'll pull Superman out. Oh my God, he's still taped in there. I'm not kidding, this has never been opened. This is the first time that this bad boy has been opened. I wanna try and be careful because I wanna keep the box. So we got the stickers, Discly hubcaps, Clark Kent, and now let's roll the car out of the garage. What else is in there? Oh, and the instructions. All right, all right, all right. This thing is dusty. How did it get so dusty in the box? It must be box dust. Look, the tape's never been peeled off. Let's peel the tape off, too. Whoop. Oh, drat. It left sticky stuff. The tape is so old, it has gone done and left some sticky stuff on the top of my car. All right, I got me some goo gone right here to try and get this sticky stuff off the top. I just can't finish the video until I get that off. Don't get it on the base. Don't get it on the display paper. All right, goo gone. Do your worst. Well, I finished with the Goo Gone, but the problem is it actually dulled the clear shine. I wrecked my car. Okay, and here we have the car, the Clark Kent, the stickers, the hubcaps, the Super Disc hubcaps, and 
the instructions that tell you how to put on the stickers and where, and also about the hubcaps. I do think it's kind of funny this only comes with three hubcaps as opposed to four, which means two go on the wheels and one gets shot out the back here, as you can see. And just take note here for a second, Superman and Clark Kent, neither of them have that there party in the back and business in the front. The person who drew these instructions must not have liked long-haired, ponytailed Clark Kent. So first, let's look at the figgy fig. Superman comes sporting his khaki-colored khaki pants and his black Brooks shoes, certain to make any man's feet smelly in the middle of summer. He's also sporting himself a blue bomber jacket. At least that's what I think this is. It looks like a bomber jacket of some sort. Not completely like Superboy's. Superboy's is that very classic biker style jacket from the 90s, whereas Superman's actually has cuffs right here and a waistband right there. My friend Russell had a jacket like this. I'm pretty sure it's a bomber jacket. At the time, this was one of only three Clark Kent figures that you could get. We all know that the Superpowers collection had a mail-away Clark Kent, and Superman the Animated Series also had a Clark Kent figure, very similar actually. Clark Kent's head sculpt, just like the Superman figure, is business in the front and party in the back. The 90s was all about that long-haired look, and you know it was so popular that even Superman got one. Boy, oh boy, is hindsight 2020. The people at DC must be looking back now going, really? We gave Superman a mullet, and we thought that that was cool? You know what? It's just what it is. That's what it was for the times. The car itself has no stickers on it yet, so let's put all of the stickers on it first before we take a really good close look at it. All right, that's the headlights, and these are the headlight stickers. Oh, I suck at putting stickers on. Oh, cool. Okay, that one. And sticking it on. Don't mess it up. There we go. And now the car has headlights. Now the car needs rear tail lights so people can tell when he's going to stop or when he's going to reverse. And as part of the instructions, the tail lights are going to go on just like this right there. Okay, don't mess it up, Brad. Get the sticker on. And hey, cool. I didn't mess that one up either. And you go there. Okay, so these stickers here, they go inside the cockpit. So let's open it up and stick them right there where they're supposed to go. Da -da 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 -da. All right, one more to go. Don't mess this up. Yeah, good enough. Next, we put on the Superman emblems. The little one goes right here. And then the two big ones, each of them go here on the sides. Oh, I've got to get it underneath a little bit. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Yeah, don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Yeah, two for two. Okay, so we got all the stickers on the car without a hitch. Perfect. All right, and here we have the car all fully put together, all the stickers on. Look at this thing. WWCD. WWCD. What would Clark drive? Or WWST. I never really imagined Superman as being someone who, in his Clark Kent guise, would be driving this ultra expensive-ish looking sports car that would draw a lot of attention to himself. I always imagined Superman as being more of a public transit kind of guy, like taking the subway and taking the bus and that kind of thing. But this was a toy made for kids and kids don't want to get a public transit Clark Kent like Clark Kent comes with subway car and bus pass. As you can see, Clark Kent is sitting in his car maxing and chillaxing and then how this was supposed to work is when you pulled this oh god that's that's not good hold on a second you gotta really lay back how are you gonna look up the windshield if you're like practically in a sleeping position you pulled it back like that and there should be a superman figure in there let's remedy that situation all right so you got to take the cape off because superman can't sit in his car with the cape on and the idea was then you would put superman in the car like so and Oh, darn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Stop it, Soups. I'm hitting you in the face with your own car. Oh. What I was saying is you got to lay him down in his car practically, and then you can push it forward like that, and then the idea is you're not supposed to imagine that there's two people in the car. You're supposed to be like, oh, no, there's trouble in Metropolis. I better convert to Superman. And then there he is in his flying convertible space car. Very, very cool. By convertible, I mean it converts. It's not like a convertible. I mean, it's, you know exactly what I mean. Clark Kent, Superman. Clark Kent, 
Superman. Now, honestly, I'm not going to do this very many more times because this figure is old as butt and I don't want to scratch his hair because of pushing it forward like that. I'll likely just keep it like this and put Superman's cape back on it and probably never put Superman back in the car again. Yep, because it's an old collectible. Thanks for standing up for your shot, Superman. I really appreciate that. Go home, Superman. You're drunk. And now he stands just to prove he's not drunk. Also, when you converted the car into a hyperdrive space jet, you got these hubcaps. Now, the thing is, I would have really liked to see them include four of these so that he could have one on each wheel. That would have been cool, but alas, they only gave us three because one of these is actually supposed to go in here. Oh, I messed it. In, in, in here. Go in there. Okay, good. It's supposed to go in like that. Which means one of these has to go on the back wheel so that we have two matching hubcaps. And then you would pull it back, it would become the space travel hypercar, and then there's these two little things on the back right here, and you could squeeze these, and it shot the little super disc. Oh god, it's gone over here in the mess of figures and stuff. This is going to be... Oh, I got to get a move eradicator. He's right there. Can you see it? It's back there between his legs. Oh man. You move over. Thank you. You move back there. That's good. And nothing fell over. And we never had a disaster. Yay for no disaster. Now that I've opened this as an adult and we've had a closer look at it, all the insides, the stickers, and the figure itself, I can tell you that in 1996, if I was a kid, I would have definitely wanted this. Why do I know this? Well, because when I first saw the commercial for the Mail Away Clark Kent figure, I lost my mind with excitement. I really, really wanted it. Having the Clark Kent figure, and then obviously having this cool extra Superman vehicle, really, really adds to the playability and the imaginative scenarios you can come up with as a child. Child. Having Superman and Clark Kent in the same scenario, you could really do some cool stuff. All I would have needed was that really cool Bill and Ted phone booth to go with it, but alas, that goes for a bazillion dollars on eBay right now. Seriously, look it up. So yeah, I definitely think that if you're somebody who collects all these old vintage Man of Steel figures, this is going to be something that I feel like you're absolutely going to want to add to your collection because it is just cool beans, yo. Anyway, guys and girls of the DC Squad, thank you so much, Super Friends, for tuning in and watching this video. It really does mean a whole heck of a lot that you've taken the time to watch this video today. If you've enjoyed it, found it entertaining, useful, interesting in any way, shape, or form, please take the time to leave a like on this video. Leave any comments you have down in the comments section below. And if this is your first time here and you think you might want to see more of the kind of content that I upload to YouTube on a pretty regular basis, then I invite you today to become a Super Friend and join the DC Squad by hitting the subscribe button and tinkling the bell so that you get notified when I put out new videos. And with that, I'm done. Have a super awesome DC day, super friends, and take care.